Okay, kind of a part two. I thought I'd just go ahead and talk about the tank cover anyway. So the uh, tank cover, I just lay it on here. It's gonna eventually, the, the right here where we're at, the skylight is gonna sit up over, overlap this and sit up in this little channel, you know, from our cap strip here. And then that's gonna be siliconed into the edge of that to keep it waterproof. So this is gonna sit up over, it's not critical. It doesn't have to match. You know, with the side of this, you're never going to see it. So don't worry about trying to match this end at all. Just We're just going to worry about the holes because the skylight's going to be under here. Then this is going to overlap and just sit on top of the skylight wherever it hits, okay? The important thing, obviously, is lining up our holes. So what I did is I just laid, laid the tank up there. And then, and you can do this before or after you paint the tank lid. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, sometimes I do it before or after. But in any case, all I did is go down to the end and I pick it up, you know, kind of like this. And I, and I just tell you, pick it, see that hole right there? And I just line them up down through there and take some masking tape and I just put a, I put a piece of masking tape here then I go down to this end and I'll look the same thing on this side. I'll just pick it up, I'll look down, I've already done it, but I'll line these holes up where it looks good here all the way down and then do the same thing on the other corners. Just just making sure we know we're good here. So again, over here, making sure we lined up. You can see where I drilled one hole here already in this corner. Same thing, put a little masking tape. You don't have to hold it down until you get those. I just put two corners on, so now I can take the tape off and just match real the rest of the holes. So that's kind of how you set it up. And then, of course, we're just gonna take the, the uh, thingamajiggy, <laughs> drawing a blank. Uh, and it, it goes underneath of course you see this has got the little knob underneath there you probably moved it before so that's going to go in the hole i guess you call it hole finder and we're going to go up underneath here and i just get it under the first one make sure i'm i look underneath there make sure i'm in the hole which i am there once it's in the hole we we'll go down we'll drill i'm just putting a number 40 drill in there drill it go all the way through and then put a number 40 clico in and then just slide it down and go to the next one you know, when you get closer, you had to pull that one up and keep going. So, and then just go around the tank that way. And then you gotta drill it back out. I forget now what number it is. Uh, I wanna say 20, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll drill it out again to take the, you know, to enlarge it uh, with a step drill or another drill to uh, make it. In the manual too, the, I forget, I think they're 632, 630 seconds uh, screws, but, do be sure and go ahead and add a rub, uh, plastic washer underneath them. I don't think the manual calls for it, but I always do because obviously anything where you're putting a screw over the paint, if you don't put a plastic washer under it, you'll end up boogering your paint job up. So anyway, anyway, that's just kind of a quick, uh, quick tip on that.